A very warm welcome to this series of five professional learning workshops focused on improving student participation in primary and high school contexts. There is now a considerable emphasis in educational policy and practice in Australia on matters related to student voice, leadership and decision making. Similarly, we are hearing more about collaborative approaches to pedagogy, such as project-based learning, as well as whole school approaches to well-being, aimed at addressing the needs of every child. Such initiatives are all part of broader efforts to develop cultures and practices in schools that are more authentically student-centred. These workshops have been specifically designed to support these kind of efforts. Importantly too, these workshops are also based on sound evidence. They have been developed from the findings of a major study funded by the Australian Research Council, which identified key elements of participation that are positively associated with student wellbeing. This is significant because we can now direct our efforts at student participation in ways that will also improve wellbeing at school. The five workshops have been designed as one hour standalone professional learning sessions. This means you can facilitate these at designated staff meetings throughout the year. While every session includes clearly articulated learning outcomes and key content, the activities are flexible enough for you to adapt to your particular school context. Importantly, there are structured opportunities for you to apply the learning back in your classrooms and a workbook for you to note down insights you may wish to return to at a later time. We provide you with all the resources that you will need to be able to run these sessions in-house at your school without the need for external facilitators. We hope you find the learning affirms many of your current practices and we also hope the sessions will stimulate critical thinking, discussion and planning around the ways that student participation and well-being might be further enhanced at your school. There is no doubt that the shift towards developing authentically student-centred schools requires some level of reflection on attitudes, values, assumptions and beliefs that underpin existing practices. The good news is that when it comes to participation and wellbeing at school, the evidence suggests that the little things are the big things. Having someone who knows me and likes me, the principal knowing my name, being heard, feeling like I can contribute, and these are things that generally matter to all of us. We hope you enjoy this learning experience offered through the five workshops, and we wish you every success with strengthening meaningful participation at your school.